Hey there programmers, welcome back to Pocket Code Tutorials. My name is CodeGreen01 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the random function in Pocket Code. Uh, so let's go ahead and open up Pocket Code and create a new program for the random function. Let's add that random function. And let's go ahead and just use standard portrait and let's go ahead go into programs it's like random function go back go back and we can go ahead and go into random function so let's go ahead and add something that we're going to use for use with the random function so let's add some objects i'm going to go in here and go draw some objects okay we can do a square let's do a square Put that right there Actually, let's make this a transparent square. Oops. There we go. And then we'll just call that square. And then let's add another image. Except this time, let's not do it with another object, let's do it within the object. Make it like an orange circle. Really mad where we put it on the screen. Tap on it and go ahead and go back. And let's add another look. Make it blue. Star. No, let's do a heart. We're making and let's make it like a clear purple. And let's go back out of here to save everything. We're gonna go back in. Look, let's rename this all these objects here just so that we can have it organized. So this is square. Circle, circ for short. And heart. Alright, so now that we got all those set up, let's go ahead and rename the whole object itself, Shapes. And we need a button so that we can trigger this uh, variable. So let's go ahead and draw a button for this. And I think I'll use... Uh, you know, let's use a... Uh, Gold button. Move that down there. Okay, there we go. And then let's make sure we have that nice Try to stamp. Okay. Transform it. Tap on it. And then let's add some text. Random. Bold at 40. We get black text. Let's try and make it nice and even as possible. And once you think you got it, which it doesn't really matter in this case, it's just an example. Stamp it and save it. And then we'll just put in R A N D button for short. B T N. Okay, and now we have all of our objects that we need. Now we can go ahead and get right into the scripts. So <clears throat> we need to give 
the object shapes a variable in order to have a random function so let's go ahead and give this object a variable so we'll just call the variable shapes for the object and then we want to go ahead and when the program starts let's choose a random number so how the random function works really hold on let me turn this off in the settings so how this um random function works is it takes your data variable and randomizes it from point a from to point b so any numbers from point a to point b uh, the randomizer will choose any number in between those uh, numbers. So we have three objects inside of the one object group. So we have the square, the circle, and the heart. So we're going to go from one to three because that's how many um, objects we're switching in between with the random function. So I basically switch in between variables random one to three is what we're doing when we use this brick and we need to call it to switch those objects when it hits a certain certain specific value so what we want to do here is use a broadcast video variable and we're just going to broadcast something like shapes anything you want and then when this object receives this message shapes now we can use the control if it's true then else and what this will do is select in between those data variables. So you can go into data. If data shapes equals one is true. And then you can go ahead and copy this again. And then just switch this to two. And since we're only using three sprites, we go into control and select what if it is true then. And put it right after that else. And then Go ahead, go into data, shapes, equals three. And then what you want to do here is use the looks function and the switch to look. And when shapes equals one, it'll switch to look the first object, which is the square. And then when shapes equals two, it'll switch to look the object circ. And then when shapes variable switches to three, it'll go ahead and switch to look at the heart as you can see here now let's go ahead and program the button so the button's not that hard we actually have to position the button and the shapes are pretty much already positioned so let's go ahead and place this object lower uh, down uh, under the shapes object so that it looks pretty good so we're gonna go ahead and put it at 0 negative 200 and when the button's tapped we want it to do that broadcast variable, broadcast shapes. And first we want to set the variable to random one to three. Okay, that's pretty much it. And uh, if you want to add an animation to the button, all you gotta do, you can. there's so many ways you can do it, but I'm just gonna do it with brightness. I'm gonna use a trick with brightness. So I'm just gonna go to set brightness to 125. And wait until go into the object in the editor, and then go select touch his finger. Well, first we should go into function, I mean, not functions, logic, not, and then object, and then select touch his finger. It's true. And then after that, set brightness to 100%. Sorry about that. We make mistakes sometimes. Everyone does. <laughs> and then after that, you're pretty much set. Um, the whole program is built. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check it out and see if it works. Okay, so our first shape is a square, and now let's press the random button, and then we get the heart. After we press it twice, we got the circle, 
And yeah, as you guys can see, every time I click the random button, it will switch to a random shape. Sometimes it's repetitive, but it still works. So it's switching in between those uh, three shapes that we created in Pocket Paint. And that's all that matters. That's what we wanted from the start. So, yeah guys, um, I will be doing more on this random function uh, in future videos, but uh, before I go, because uh, I'm trying to keep the tutorial short. So, yeah everyone, before I leave this video, if you are still having any problems with pocket code and you guys just need uh, more guidance and help, uh, we have something for you guys and girls. Uh, it's a new app. Uh, it's, the gamer, it's a gamer uh, chat called Discord, and you can download this in the Play Store, and on Discord, you can basically go in and talk and chat with each other. And we, uh, the server that we set for this uh, Discord is called Pocket Code English. This is for the English-speaking um, programmers, so you guys can come in here, uh, and when you need help, go into the Mentor Guidance tab and ask a question down here. It's that simple. Send a message. Uh, you, even uh, people in the community can help out in the help tab and uh, all that stuff so it's not uh, not hard to use uh, and then when you want to go ahead and talk with the community go ahead and go into the community chat and you can talk with anyone globally uh, that is inside of the pocket code English server so uh, yeah guys you guys can even come in here and uh, uh, collaborate and plan on making video games with each other you know things like that you can just even come in here to hang out and make friends uh, it's something that I think will change uh, pocket code a lot and uh, it'll help you guys out a lot also. And yeah, um, I hope that they keep this going and uh, there will be more uh, uh, servers for different languages. So also keep your eye out for those servers. Uh, this is just a test run to see how this will go. And if this goes well, there will be more servers for more different languages. Alright guys, your boy Code Green Zero One signing out. Go ahead, go into the Play Store and download that Discord app. And uh, I will be dropping a Discord link to the Pocket Code English server down in the description below. So go ahead and make sure you check that out after you have installed the app and signed up for the Discord um, uh, application. Uh, so yeah, guys, uh, your boy Code Green Zero One signing out.